We are here at Cistern K checking out the remains of two old houses that were allegedly part of the drug smuggling operations that occurred on this key in the 1980s. Meet Lab Mariner, our home in the water, and her crew. Anubis, the Huntress. Jim, the Captain. Mocha, the Camera Dog. Nuala, the Greeter. And Stephanie, the Cruise Director. From Hoffman's Key, we sail about 30 nautical miles to the west side of Great Harbor Key, where we'll stay at Great Harbor Key Marina for a week. On our way to the west side of Great Harbor Key, we pass two islands that are exclusively used by cruise lines, Great Stirrup Key, used by Norwegian Cruise Lines, and Little Stirrup Key, also known as Coco K, where you can have a perfect day, used by Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. We also pass a flack of cruise ships awaiting the restart of cruising season. The channel into Great Harbor Key Marina is completely obscured until you are thoroughly committed to the course. The entrance was created about 60 years ago by blowing up the rock to make a very narrow cut through the limestone about 50 feet across. With our 24 foot beam, we only have about 13 feet on either side of the cut, which seems even closer as we're passing through. The channel provided access to the Great Harbor Key Marina and townhouses, which were built in the late 1960s. Development of Great Harbor Key began in the mid 1960s with a $38 million investment and plans to make it into a hideaway for the rich and famous. Hi guys, you ready to get off the boat? Ready to go for a walkie? What do you think of the beach? Oh, Nubis thinks it's time to get sand in her face. What do you guys think? Well, guys, what do you think of the beach? You are gonna get me into trouble, Nubis. You're so dirty. You got sand everywhere. You got sand in your mouth too, Mocha. You guys are troublemakers. You guys ready to go? We are at the entryway to the old clubhouse in Great Harbor Cay. I should think this is a bit creepy, huh guys? Great Harbor Key has a very colorful past. In the 1960s, about $38 million were spent on development of beautiful homes in this area. And a number of stars came here, such as Cary Grant, Douglas Fairbanks, Walter Cronkite, Jack Nicholas. This clubhouse behind us, which was a meeting place for people who owned homes on this island, and at the end of the 70s, it fell out of popularity and people started not coming here anymore. And what happened in the 80s was it became popular as a drug smuggling area, in particular Cistern Key, which just neighbors Great Harbor Key, became an area for drug smuggling associated with the Carlos Lenner Rivas cartel, which was anchored in the Norman Key area. So let's take a look at this now ruined building. Can you tell that this used to be a swanky place in the 60s? Certainly doesn't look very swanky anymore. You can imagine just all the parties that were had in the 60s and 70s in this beautiful pool. Not too many parties going on anymore, huh guys? It's left in an old staircase going up to the second floor. How's it look? Uh, like you could fall through right there. It looks pretty sturdy still. For the moment, it's not. Yeah, I know. And all the boys are like, oh, Mr. Lee, it's no problem. It'll be fine. I'm like, it's always fine until the moment it's not. Yeah, exactly. My other answer to all the boys, I don't really care if you hurt yourself. That's up to you. What I'm worried about is what your mom's going to do to me. Exactly. What you do yourself is not my problem. It's what your mom's going to do to me. And they would look at me and imagine it, and they'd be quiet, and then they'd go, yeah, yeah okay. We understand. <laughs> here's our bikes. And here's our walkway. Wow. That is scary. Careful. <laughs> From the old clubhouse, we ride our bikes to the beach club on the east side of the island, which offers easy access to the beautiful white sand beach.
From the beach club, we continue our ride to the sugar caves, passing an old propeller, which is rumored to be from the sunken plane wreck near Cistern Key. Caddy, I'm here. Yes, I need my bag. What you doing, sweetie? I'm changing into my wetsuit. How do you like to be asked what you're doing in the midst of something? <laughs> I've always wanted to turn the camera on and ask you, what you doing, sweetie? I have to answer that like every other hour. How do you find our jungle expedition? Corny, there's a huge cactus up ahead. Jim was afraid that someone was here, but I don't think this dune buggy has been recently used. We are here at Cistern K, checking out the remains of two old houses that were allegedly part of the drug smuggling operations that occurred on this key in the 1980s. It is believed that they were part of the Carlos Lender Rivas cartel. The drug smuggling occurred through flying of planes onto the airstrip that's also located on this key and they would come low, low enough that radar would not detect them. And then in the evening they would use fast boats to move the drugs from here over to Florida. Obviously we're related, they're using the same fireplace. Very similar look. The whole outside is that stone structure. Oh, look at this. Part of the stone, they used a piece of coral. It's a bit tricky getting back here. You took an easier path than I did. I don't know about that. <laughs> I was forging my own path for most of it. Oh yeah, looks like it was quite 80s style. Like they had an 80s style dishwasher. Uh, remains of it. Remains of an 80s style dishwasher. Old shells, shotgun shells. Interesting. Budweiser drinkers. Pretty big boat launch. So, what'd you think of the two abandoned houses? I think that you really liked it and that's all that matters. We found where the plane wreck is. We can see the top of the plane out of the water so we know we're at the right place. It looks a little murky so I don't think we're going to see a whole lot.
Join us next week when we make several stops, first at Soldier Key and then at Paradise Island before reaching Rose Island to enjoy the beautiful White Sand Beach and the bountiful coral reefs.